Hello everyone, I'm here with my friend Charles. He is through the phone and we are doing a boil test. It's the, how do you pronounce that stove again? Uh, it's the Sveo 123BR. Okay, and I have the MSR Dragonfly. So basically what we're doing here is uh, we're kind of doing a realistic, uh, we have, you know, we have our windscreen here, he has his windscreen there and then his fuel priming bottle and stuff. For, so basically we're trying to see um, who can get a liter of water to boil the quickest? So he has a GSI 1.4 liter Halulite pot, and I have a ever new 1.3 liter titanium pot right here. And um, so we're gonna start here in a few seconds. So I'd say go ahead and go. So basically, I have to lubricate my pump. Put that on here. I need to do 20 pumps. And so my bottle is also very empty. Um, so that doesn't help me any. Like mine. Okay, it's not enough fuel. I really should have had a full bottle. Okay, that should be enough fuel. And I'm not starting this timer until we get the the water, well, I can do it for video magic, video editing magic. <laughs> I'll get us a full. Okay, so I get my windscreen up here. The temperature right now where I am is about 28 degrees. Where Charles is is about 42. Um, and we both have about the same wind, it says it's about 8 mile an hour, and it's, it's a slight breeze, basically, enough, you can definitely feel it, for me, at least. Um, basically we are priming up the stove here, I'm still recording. But you can't really see mine, if you want to look at your phone, that's where I am. Okay, my stove is lit, and I'm putting the timer on. Alright. Well, <laughs> there you go. Now I'm putting I'm the timer. still waiting for this. seems kind of fluttery. It's probably because it's um, not enough pressure. I'm going to add a whole bunch of pumps to it. I have about 50 total pumps. This thing is really loud.
pick up your phone and show it. Oh, you paused the video. It seems to have a nice blue flame, yeah. down. I think it's probably going to be a less than a minute. It should be boiling, I guess. I can't hardly hear you. The stove is too loud. They got some small bubbles on mine. Got steam coming out of mine. the five minute mark for me. I think by by five thirty it should have a nice boil. I can have five thirty right now and um we have some small bubbles a little bit longer for a rolling boil. I get a 545 for a boil and I turn it off. And you can't really see it, but it was was boiling more than that. Now for me, so on mine, all I need to do is just turn this valve off here. And it burns all the fuel out of the line after that. I don't have to flip the bottle or anything. Uh, I just got little bubbles on the bottom of the pot. Okay. I don't know when you put yours on, how long after mine, but we're at six... Um, I put mine on about... After you, I think. Okay, we're at 6:45 right now. Yeah, yeah. I was. This was still having to burn off, and honestly, 
if I was sitting down camp, I would have put, I would have let it burn out and put more alcohol on during the second trial. As you can see that, I've mostly been getting around, uh, like, well, in the 12 minute range to get this thing to boil. So we'll see. It might be faster now that I'm using a little more food to try to. It'll be interesting to see how efficient it is because it, it, I think it's supposed to be more efficient, isn't it? Well, no, it, it's it's rated at around 4,700 BTUs, but that's its max output. So when I had it indoors uh, and it was going all out, that was probably 4,700 BTUs. Right. Right. I don't know what mine is. Mine's probably like eight thousand. Sounds about right. Uh, I thought the whisper light was ten, so yours is probably one more. Uh, maybe eleven. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, mine's a little bit stronger than the whisper light. I think. I think it also has a better, better flame pattern. In fact, it's a real similar flame pattern to this thing. Yeah, very similar. It has the same cup style. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, I can hear the difference, and you can see the difference in flame size and everything. Up here, it's a little crazy. Great. Crazy difference. But this is, this is about as good as I've gotten to do in this kind of thing. Well, that's good. Makes for a good test. Alright, 10 minutes. You'll have to show me your boil so I can like tell you to stop it at about where my boil was. Mine wasn't like a super hard rolling boil, but it was like good enough for like. My prediction is like 12 and a half to 15. Yours goes out right away after you turn it off. Yep. Yeah, it goes out and then. You shut it off and it hasn't been running very long. You can kind of flame the candles a little bit. It'll be like a little tiny candle flame. Right. But when it's like real hot and running, you shut it off. So far, it's pretty reliable. That's good. The peak here. Okay, we got. I can see tiny bubbles in the top. Yeah, that's 11 good. minutes then. So we'll check it again at 12, so one minute from now we'll check it again. Yeah, the temperature, ambient temp seems to make a big difference with the stove. Since, uh, I mean, indoors, using, uh, they were getting there. Yeah. Well, oh, that's about, that's about where I was. Yeah, we'll call it at that. That's 1120. Yeah, we'll call it at that. So it's say 1130 for yours, including the extra time. Well, we'll do the video edit to magic. But yeah, so that was 545 for me to get there, and then 11 and a half for you or so. And then we'll see. We'll have to let it cool down, and then we'll measure the measure the weights of everything. But yeah, um, we'll put up. I'll put overlay on the video, everyone, this, to give the exact uh, weights and fuel usage, and then we'll also give the exact um, efficiency. So it is important to note with these type of stoves that they are really inefficient when you only do one boil. If you run them a bunch, if you run constant um, all night long, they are really efficient. Um, the priming uses, yours uses like what, about six grams of fuel to prime? Yeah, when I was measuring out, using a little proper measuring out white gas, it was in the rough four to six grams. I think with alcohol being a little bit less energy dense, it, I might be able to use a little bit more. I might need a little more, so. Yeah, so somewhere between five to eight grams for his, and I think it's about seven to eight. I, I'm not even sure how much, but um, somewhere around five, probably about the same for mine. Um, to prime right. it. And so, 
Like, that's, and like a canister stove, that could, on a jet boil, that could be an entire um, liter or half liter of water boiled. Um, just, yeah. just to prime the stove. So if you're only doing like one at a time, the stove, e neither of these stoves are the best, but if you're doing a whole bunch of cooking or a whole bunch of water boiling, right. they're both great. Yeah, so I think we'll call it that and we'll see, um, see the results on the video. And thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.